It's no question that climbing is a sport that can bring injury. Sometimes, no matter what conditioning you do or injury prevention you do, it simply just happens. In the Munich 2019 Bouldering World Cup, one female climber suffered an injury, and rather than sit out a lifetime opportunity to compete in finals, that climber fought her way through injury and used a unique beta break to find herself on the podium. I'm of course talking about Mia Kremple. But before taking a look at this valiant beta break, we need to go check out the colder side of climbing, ice climbing. There's a move in ice climbing that is quite common in the discipline called a figure four. The move is executed by placing your opposite leg over the forearm of the limb holding the ice pick. This move is used to create a more stable position to get a longer reach with the free hand, as well as aid in clipping positions and sometimes a rest for the athlete. In some of these clips, you'll notice that the climber places the same side leg as their holding arm. This is not to be confused with a figure four as it is called a figure nine, often a transitional move into a figure four. Now, the figure four move isn't unseen or impossible in climbing that isn't ice climbing, nor is it useless. Oftentimes, a move coming out of a roof can be performed with a figure four if the holds are good enough. Most of the times, however, it is more efficient to simply just pull and go rather than take the time to set a figure four and reach for the next hold. Slovenia's Mia Krampel had sustained an injury and although it was never publicly announced when or what happened, it was clear that it affected her throughout the semi-final round and the beginning of the finals round. She was seen limping on the mats and wincing during some moves. Let's see how that storyline develops with her knee through the rest of the boulders 2, 3 and 4. And that's such a shame for us at home and for Mia. She is that good though that you suspect it won't be the last receiver. Mia Krampel will be out next. Uh, difficult situation here with Mia Krampel. Uh, as you said, Mike, we saw her after the semi-final, had picked up some sort of a knee injury uh, and was receiving attention. It's heavily strapped. She's not walking right. And on the first boulder, she definitely didn't like jabbing the left foot out. On women's problem number four, there was an incredibly difficult sequence that climbers had to navigate using a lot of left leg power, twisting and turning it to get into the right position. Every climber that got to the zone hold used their left leg on the right side holds and pushed to get into the next sequence. Everyone but Mia crampled. Mia limped out onto the mats and eyed the boulder. Of course her knee was in pain, but this was her first Boulder World Cup Finals and she was determined to push through. She wasn't going to use her left knee injury as an excuse. Instead, she found a way to break the beta and make history. Yeah, make your way back here. Onto the middle of the stage to watch the end of proceedings. Temperature really dropping here in Munich. It's been really hot all day, but conditions on the wall now, I would imagine, pretty good. There's a breeze blowing, the temperature has really come down, the clouds are gathering. Spectacular setting, you can see the Olympic Stadium and the beautiful glass architecture in the background as uh, Mia Krampel creeps her right hand up. Now this is where that knee might cause some problems because really you could do with really pushing hard off that left leg. Same position as you do, Shannon D. You just got to bring the right foot up a little bit higher to get the distance to that jib round on the right hand side. That's a bit more like it. Gets it rearranged. Creeps the hand up, and there it is. Again, it's been off the ground a, a long time. Goes lower on that volume rather than clamping the top. Now gets the top. So that's the zone secured uh, for her, and that does move her up onto the podium places for now. Oh, and you can see a lot of pain in that left knee there. Nice. I really hope that's not the thing that keeps off the podium, because to, to have an injury that severe and end up on the podium would be a truly extreme, extraordinary story. And she does really well. Oh, yes. Figure of four, she's been watching the ice climbing. Now up through the cheese blocks. 
If she can do it, it'll be three tops for Mia Crample, and three tops would mean a podium. This is absolutely incredible for Mia Crample. What determination! And there's your reward. Mia Crample, three tops. Almost climbing on one leg. She could barely walk out here. And she acknowledges the crowd and they acknowledge her. It was so bad at one stage, she winced on that boulder. And she deserves every clap she is getting there. That is one of the most heroic performances we've seen in a long time at the IFSC. And what if you sustain an injury in climbing, by all means, you should rest and recover properly. However, if you are on one of the biggest stages in the competition climbing world and made it so far, sometimes it's worth perseverance and some creative beta breaking to get to the top. Mia Crample got third at this World Cup, her first ever World Cup podium, and a well-deserved standing ovation. She recently became Slovenia's second female athlete to qualify for the Olympics. Your determination and creativity has inspired us all. Keep crushing, Mia.